Good day, everyone. Today, we'll be looking at implicit differentiation. All right, for the KP Mathematics Unit 2, Module 1, which is Complex Numbers and Calculus 2. The topic for today is implicit differentiation. I am Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador for the University of Technology, Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. So here we have our question. It says, let x squared plus y squared minus 4xy plus 3 be equal to 0. Use implicit differentiation to show that dy by dx is equal to 2y minus x over y minus 2x. All right? So, with implicit differentiation, what we will be doing is differentiating each term in the equation with respect to x, all right? You will notice that you have a negative 4xy in that equation on the left-hand side. And since we have x multiplied by y, we will be required to use the product rule, all right? So, if you want to remember, the product rule is to my right, which says d by dx of u times v is equal to v du by dx plus u dv by dx, all right? And remember now that we're dealing with other terms other than x, meaning that we have y terms in the equation, all right? And when differentiating those y terms, we differentiate it with respect to y, and then we multiply by a dy by dx, right? As you can see down here, as I have recall, if you're differentiating a function of y with respect to x, then what you do is differentiate the function with respect to y and then multiply by a dy by dx, okay? So let us get into the question, all right? So they gave us x squared plus y squared minus 4xy plus 3 is equal to 0. So what we're going to do is differentiate each term in the equation with respect to x. So we'll have d by dx of x squared plus d by dx of y squared the negative four is a constant. So what I'm going to do is I can take out the constant and focus on the x, y. All right, so I'll have negative four multiplied by d by dx of x, y. All right, plus d by dx of three. And that is equal to d by dx of zero. Great. So let us know differentiate. So d by dx of x squared using the power rule, right? You take down the two and then subtract the power by one. So what you will have is a two x there, plus you're differentiating a function of y. So what you do is differentiate the function of y with respect to y, that's two y, but you must multiply it by a dy by dx minus four, and we're applying the product rule now on this term, all right, you have u times v. So the formula is v multiplied by the derivative of u plus u multiplied by the derivative of y. Okay, plus, now we know that when we differentiate a constant, we're going to get zero. So d by dx of three is equal to zero, and d by dx of zero is also equal to zero, right? Zero is a constant, so that's why we get zero. Good, let us now simplify our equation here. So we have two x plus two y dy by dx minus four times, now we'll differentiate x with respect to x, we get one. So what we'll have is y here plus x, and when we differentiate y with respect to x, we get one 
dy by dx, all right? So that's what I will have in brackets. And that is equal to zero. Okay, let us now simplify. So I now have two X plus two Y dy by dx. All right, I'm gonna distribute the negative four inside and I will get negative four times Y, negative four times X dy by dx. And that is equal to zero. Great. Now, what I'm going to do from here is bring the dy by dx terms together. All right. And put all the other terms on the right hand side. So, what I will have is 2y dy by dx minus 4x dy by dx. And that is going to be equal to, if I carry the negative 4 on the right hand side, it turns a positive. And if I carry the two X on the right hand side, it turns a negative. So we'll have negative two X here. Very good. All right. Now, on the left hand side, clearly you can see that dy by dx is a common factor, right? So I can factor out the dy by dx, right? And in brackets, I'm gonna have two Y minus four X. And that is equal to four Y minus two X. Good. Now I would I want dy by dx on one side, right? On the left hand side in this case. So I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2y minus 4x. No. All right. And if I do that, I get dy by dx is equal to 4y minus 2x. And I'm going to divide that. I'm gonna divide that by what is inside the brackets, which is 2y minus 4x, all right? Now, if you observe carefully, you can see that two is a common factor in the numerator and the denominator. So what I'm going to do now is to factor out that two, which is common, all right? So two is common. So in brackets, I will have a two Y minus X, all right? I will have a two Y minus X in brackets. And in the denominator, two is common. So I factor the two. And in brackets, I will have a Y minus two X, all right? Now, clearly you can see that the two in the denominator will cancel the two in the denominator. So what do I have now? So therefore, dy by dx is going to be equal to 2y minus x. And I'm now going to divide that expression by y minus 2x. All right? Now let us look back at the question. It says, show that dy by dx is equal to 2y minus x over y minus 2x. So that is what we got, right? 2y minus x over y minus 2x. So we have shown what they ask us. So we can write shown, all right? And we have now completed the question. All right, so this is implicit differentiation in the Pure Mathematics Unit 2 syllabus of Module 1 under the Calculus 2 section. All right, I'm Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica, all right, and Mathematics Teacher in Training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.